In this video, I'm doing a position analysis from the 54th Backgammon World Championship in Monte Carlo. This is the first of the series. I'm going to pick out one position uh, every day or multiple positions every day and do a video on that position. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Please do put in the comments what you'd like to see in future videos, and I uh, will work on that. Uh, thank you to Backgammon Galaxy and Ace Point Ga uh, Backgammon, as well as uh, Mark Olson and uh, Bill Riles for allowing me to use these uh, videos. So this position that we're going to look at uh, here is in a match between Victor Ashkenazi and David Wells. And I believe it's the Monte Carlo Open. It's an 11-point match. Victor is leading... 4-2, so 7 away, 9 away, and Victor is playing the black checkers at the bottom, and David the white checkers at the top, and they're playing on the beautiful Monte Carlo board. I definitely recommend checking that out. I'll put a link in the description. So Victor has a 5-3 to play here, uh, and you can see the race is pretty close. He's up by 2 before, uh, the, before the roll, and he'll be up by 10 after um, However, if he does hit, he'll be up by 11. So uh, the natural play is to play 8 to 3, 6 to 3. That just makes sense. Um, and that's probably what a lot of people would have done. Um, just naturally make that point. White has three blocks scattered all over the place. Uh, but it turns out on the rollout, it's better to actually hit loose with six to one and play eight to five with the three. Uh, so what does that do? So it puts white on the bar with two other blots. It disconnects this white checker from the one point to the seven or the 24 to the 18. Um, and also black has a three to two board advantage. So a three point board versus a two point board. So he is a favorite in a hitting exchange. If white dances with any of the nine numbers, a quarter of the time he'll dance, uh, black will have chances to attack and hit the other blots um, and move forward. Uh, so one of the things I do is look at the dice distribution feature on XG. And uh, one of the things you can do that's really easy is say a checker is on the bar. So let's say uh, he hits this checker, now it's on the bar. Now, all the rolls that dance are obviously bad for white. So that includes, of course, the doubles, double six, double five, double four, as well as six, five, six, four, and five, four. Uh, now, and then other roles that would be bad from the bar include roles like uh, six, two, and six, three, because he would have to come in with the two or the three, and he wouldn't have a productive six. So look at how those play if you just make the three point. Well, the sixes are good because six, he can anchor here. And he can play down with the 6-5 or the 6-4 or 6-3 or 6-2. So those are big swings, um, as well as some other things. So this is what you can do on the dice distribution. This is actually a separate Excel file that shows the equity heat map for play A, which is hitting and playing 8-5, to five, and play B, which is making the three-point uh, and a four-point board. You see, these are all the dancing numbers. Um, how strong they are. Green is the highest. So those are really strong. Uh, now, the, the chart at the lower left basically takes the difference of A versus B for each of these cells. So you can see big swings for all these dancing rolls. And this is plotted on a histogram here. So you can see the 6.5 and 6.4 are huge swings in favor of hitting loose. Now, this is another chart uh, that shows exactly what happens. So after making play A, which is hitting loose, 6-5 uh, dances, 6-4 dances, all these other ones, the 5-4, double-6, and double-4, they all dance. So those are big, big positive swings in favor of hitting. And the other roles that I mentioned earlier, the 6-2 and 6-3 are very unproductive when white is on the bar, but they play okay when he's not. So those are the big swings. You want to look at swing roles. Uh, so what are the roles by the opponent that play well or poorly, depending on whether you make one play or the other play? Uh, when you have an opportunity to hit, it's really easy to see because you look at all the roles uh, that dance 
uh, as I mentioned earlier, double six, double five, uh, double four, as well as a six, five, six, four, five, four. And then you want to think about other roles that include one of these numbers, like the six is six, one, six, two, six, three. Uh, and then you can think about things like five, three, um, which would come in and anchor and make the midpoint. Five, two would anchor. Uh, five, one would come in uh, looking at the fours uh, and so forth. So you want to look at those things. Think about the swing rolls. That's what swing rolls are. Uh, so that was the first position analysis from the 54th Backgammon World Championship in Monte Carlo. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please place in the comments what you'd like to see in future videos, and I'll work on that. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.